Hello guys, this is a small tutorial on my newest sheet. It's a bit harder to use than usual, so I figured I will shortly get a film running to explain everything. So I will try to not lose time. I will not go into every detail. I will just use uh, basic functions and show you how to uh, prepare that sheet. If you filled everything, you will be able to kind of get an overview of your remaining skills as well as selecting your marches and skills accordingly so we will start from the scratch like i will delete everything i've turned uh, i've typed in so i basically have the same overview as someone who gets this sheet freshly and yeah let's get started so in the beginning the first thing you need to do is you want to select at which point of kvk you are Usually you start at the beginning of KVK, that's a uh, sacrificial offering chapter and that's an indomitable contender chapter. These chapters determine which commanders are available, so that's why you have to select one. So we will get started with the Season 1 Commanders plus Khan with the chapter Start of KVK. You don't have to worry about which commanders are available, the system is doing it automatically. So what you're going to do now is you will type in all skills. We will consider every commander that you have uh, unlocked at least as 1111. So the skills show up on the dashboard and you know that's it. So I know I have Etiflet maxed, Alex maxed. Now I have to check for Amanitore. Basically you're doing that with every commander you're looking for. You can also use the filter functions on your... Uh, version as well as on the PC. So my Amanitora for example is 200 and you see it's already considering those skills as 1. Artemisia is, let me see, 5510. Tiller is maxed, Babu is just unlocked. By bus is max. What you also can do is, for example, if you have all the different epics and uh, elites and advanced max, you just go here and like you can, you know, just go down and fill them. So for those that already have all the epics maxed, uh, that might make sense to save some time, and later on you will kind of exclude some epics and you only check for the legendaries here you can go for whatever you want like either the name or you can filter by a type or whatever you want to do so what i usually do is i select by type for example i'm looking for the for the cavalries or so i can uh, sort some in game as well and the overview is like way easier to fill so 5000 he is maxed chandra is 300 uh, khan is 3500 for example on him i use the skill reset because the skill is very powerful to get a second skill up And you have to do that once for all the commanders. I'm doing that live now so everyone can kind of figure out how long it roughly takes to do it once. That's like for the very first time you get started. So right now that's it for the cavalry. Now I go for the archers. I can select the according commanders in game check mark archers only don't blame me for my buddhika being only on 2000 i will probably work on her in future dido is not unlocked when you see this video also the not unlocked ones won't get displayed anymore so if you type actually a zero the commander will entirely disappear from the dashboard and not even shows up as a considered one with a skill so nebu is maxed ramses where is he here he is Two. my archers are not that strong yet 
I'm working on that. So next we go to engineering. It's Babur, not even unlock. I can update it in one 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 one. Next I go to Commander Engineering Cavalry Infantry. So we go by infantry. Then we have Max. Georg is very low for me, sadly. He is a great auxiliary commander. Constantine is 5553. Max. Next. 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 My Pakal is not ready, but he's also a great auxiliary commander. Tariq is on one and Dino is maxed. So I think we missed the leadership ones and the integration ones potentially. Leadership. That's like by far the longest part of the sheet, by the way. Once you fill that once, you can also always copy that to the next version. So it's one time work. You would only have to add new commanders, means. Uh, yeah, once you fill that once, you don't have to ever do that again. You can just copy those entries to the next sheet. If you got issues copying, just let me know. I will gladly assist you. It's easier from PC usually though. So let me see. Five, 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 four. And... I think the last but not least is the integration, even though it's not really useful. Maybe Mulan, I don't know. Like she got some usable skills. Let's see. Integration Mulan 5534 and 5555. So now you can uh, remove all the filters. You can say okay, select all. Rarity, select all. And what I like to do is I like it alph alphabetical. So that's it. So now you're basically set. Now you can see from all the remaining skills you have, like what are the kind of top skills per at this time. Like the sheet is considering that you are in chapter one. The sheet is considering which commanders you've already selected for your marches and which skills you've already picked. So whatever you see here is kind of our rating, like you don't have to argue with us about whether one skill is better than the other. We just try to cluster it a bit to give you a rough idea on which skills are good and which aren't. So what you're going to do now is you go to the skill selection first and you type in your pairings. For You can also use like, you can start typing or you can click on the button and navigate through the drop down. So what I like to do is I type usually when I'm PC, at PC and when I'm at the phone. I usually use the drop downs, but like everyone can do that however he wants. Um, which other matches do I play? I play my Nevsky with the Joan Prime. I play my Etiflet with Trajan. And I like to play my Zuge Liang with Nebu. So when I go back to dashboard now, that's kind of the top choices. So what I try to do is like I try to avoid the level one skills. I try to avoid the level two skills and I will try to mostly work with those. Like those are the skills we would recommend you for open field purposes. That's specifically only for open field. Please do not use it for really rather ask us. If you're further in KVK and you want to, for example, check the third skills of commanders, you can use these, this uh, short drop down to switch the skills and update it accordingly. But since we're at the start of KVK, we only have the second skill available, which is also displayed by the blue background color in this column. Uh, here you see the commander levels as well, just to see if you have maxed commanders or not maxed ones. And on the dashboard, if you see that one commander skill is written in red, that means we did the rating only for the maxed out skills. Your skill isn't maxed out yet, but you may want to use a skill reset just to get the skill maxed if it's very good. Um, keep in mind, you only have a limited amount of skill resets, so better choose wisely before you start using them. And now we go back. 
Okay, so let's say on this one we want to use Khan skill because Rage Reduction would work pretty well on it. So Khan skill is gone from here. Then we're going to use uh, Charles one because we really want that March speed and that 40% buffs. Then you go back. The Mehmet one looks great for my Nevsky, I would say. So then we have Etiflet, Trajan, and that one I'm unsure which one to use on. Maybe, maybe, maybe the damage taken reduction from Richard just to make that much more tanky and la let it last longer. And on Zuge, sadly, I don't have to Moses skill max yet, so I couldn't consider whether I wanted to up it or not. I see that my skill is currently on 2. But for now, just for like the purposes of this playing, I will just stick with Caesar. So that's basically it. Now you here have a graphical output on the right side. This output shows you which commanders you've used, which skills are applied with the icons, so you can easier find it in-game. It also writes down the commander names once and shows your commander picture in case you have struggled to find some commander names. Um, yeah, I hope that's helpful for everyone, and we will probably release some more updates later on. I also wanted to thank everyone from 903 who has uh, participated in this project. It was like a massive work. But uh, yeah, we managed to pull it off quite quickly and it was a fun project. So yeah, keep smashing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you on.